All right, so one more example here of solving a linear system of equations and three variables using elimination by addition. So we've got 4x minus 4y plus 8z equals 20, 8x plus 4y minus 4z equals 4, and then 12x minus 8y minus 12z equals negative 40. So the first thing I'm going to do in this case, and this is something you definitely don't have to do, again, ultimately we're going to try to eliminate variables. Um, this is the type of thing that if I have to do by hand, I like to make the numbers as small as possible. Notice we can take um, each side of our first equation and we can divide by 4, or equivalently we could multiply uh, the left side by 1 fourth and the right side by 1 fourth. So if we do that, we would just be left with x minus y plus 2z equals 5. So again, I'm just taking my first equation and just simplifying it. We can actually do the same thing with the second equation. We can divide everything by, by 4. So uh, 8 over 4 would be 2x. We would get plus 1y. And then we would get minus 1z. Then we would have positive 1 on the right. Um, looks like we can do the same thing with, uh, with the last equation as well, is just simply divide everything by 4. Again, you don't have to do this, but maybe it'll make the numbers a little more manageable. So 12 over 4 will be 3x uh, minus 2y minus 3z, and then it looks like we would have negative 10 on the right side. So now I'm just going to use these, these three equations, again, just, just to hopefully make things a little easier. So, okay, we're going to try to get rid of uh, either the x's or the y's or the z's initially. To me, it looks like it's going to be easiest to, to get rid of the y's. Again, you know, I think it's kind of a, a lot of times a matter of, of choice. But uh, here it looks like if we take the first equation and the second equation, if we add those together, notice immediately the y's would cancel out. So that to me seems like a good thing. So let's see, if we've got... Um, so x minus y plus 2z equals 5. And then my uh, other equation, 2x plus y minus 1z equals 1. If we just add those up immediately, 1x and 2x will be 3x. Our y's will cancel out. We'll have 2z minus z, which will still leave us with positive 1z. And then we're left with uh, 6. So, okay, so we've got uh, one of our, we've now got an equation involving only two variables, so that's, that's good. And now what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm going to have to take, um, so I use my first and second equation. I have to use uh, the, either the first and the third or the second and the third, again, to get rid of y, since that's what I'm kind of getting, uh, eliminating. I think I'm going to use the second equation and the third equation. I'm going to have to change things up a little bit, but that's okay. So we've got 2x plus y um, minus 1z equals 1. And then we have 3x minus 2y minus 3z equals negative 10. OK, well, notice if we add things up immediately, the y's wouldn't cancel out. We've got a negative 2y in our, our bottom equation here. I would like to have a positive 2y. Um, in my top equation, well, the only real way to do that is simply to multiply both sides of my first equation by 2. So if we do that, our new first equation will turn into 4x plus 2y minus 2z equals 2. I'm just going to copy down my original uh, second equation, 3x minus 2y minus 3z equals negative 10. And now I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm just going to add those together. 4x plus 3x will give me 7x. The y's are going to cancel out. Negative 2z uh, plus negative 3z will be negative 5z. And then we have uh, a positive 2 plus a negative 10. That would give us negative 8. So notice now we have these two equations. Uh, 3x plus z equals 6, and 7x minus z equals negative 8. Now my goal is uh, to basically repeat this procedure with these two equations to again try to eliminate one of those variables. So I'm going to just kind of put those on top of each other. 
Okay, so all that work just to get down to kind of a, a smaller system of equations is the basic idea. So to me, it looks again like the easiest way to uh, to get something to cancel out. Um, I think I'm going to multiply the first equation by positive five, and then I'll get five z and a negative five z, and hey, then things will cancel out. So I'm going to multiply the left side of this equation by five, which means I've got to multiply the right side also by five. So my first equation will turn into, when we distribute, we'll get 15x plus 5z, and then 6 times 5 will give us 30. My second equation, um, we're just leaving that one alone, so we have 7x minus 5z, and then we still have our negative 8. So now in this case, if we add everything together, well, 15x plus 7x is going to be 22x. The z's cancel out. 30 minus 8 would be 22. And hey, we can divide both sides by 22, and that'll tell us that x equals 1. Okay, so it's about this point in the problem when I start feeling pretty happy because now we can backtrack pretty quickly to, uh, to figure out the other values. So since we know x, we can now take one of our equations that involved just x and uh, just z. Um, so we can plug x equals 1 into one of those and then solve. So I'm going to use this equation. So it says we have 3x plus 1z equals 6. Again, I'm going to use the fact that we know that x equals 1. So we'll just get 3 times 1 plus z equals 6. Well, 3 times 1 is 3. If we subtract 3 from both sides, we'll get z equals 3. And now I just have to go back to one of my equations that had um, x and y and z. And it doesn't matter which one you use. I'm going to use uh, this. This uh, came from the first equation, remember, after we divided by 4. I'm going to use that equation, plug in my value for x, plug in my value for z, and then we'll figure out y. So x minus y plus 2z equals 5. And again, we figured out that x had the value 1. We said that z had the value 3. So I'm going to plug in 1 minus y plus 2 times z, which is 3, equals 5. All right, so 2 times 3 is 6. We've got 1 plus 6, which would be 7 on the left minus y equals 5. We could add the y to both sides and at the same time subtract 5 from both sides. Well, 7 minus 5 would give us 2, so to me it looks like our y value should be 2. So we finally got our solution to our system of equations. We said x was equal to 1. We figured out that y was equal to 2 and we had also figured out that z was equal to 3.